Hello to everyone on YouTube. This is Flipmount 14 here. And we're here today with another card opening box. Uh, we, as you see, I have another of the Kaiba's, you know, collectors, but I like to call it a Kaiba Deluxe Edition box. Um, picked up another one of these for Walmart. They were all the way down, rolled back to 10 bucks. So, yeah. yeah if you see them uh, here in Arkansas or wherever you live, yeah, pick them up really quick, man, because. I'm pretty sure these will be gone at that price pretty quickly, so. But how are you guys doing today? I'm actually doing pretty good. Uh, but before we get to that opening, I'm actually going to do a bit of this opening. Uh, if you remember, uh, yeah, my last video actually got cut off. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, we were in the middle of opening the Blue Eyes. Uh, yeah, Mega 10. Or, I mean, the, the Blue Eyes. The Kaiba Corp Mega 10. With the awesome promos like Carter Demise and the awesome token. Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you guys. See, here's some of the promos for review. Nice little uh, Kaiba collector and blue eyes. Pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, this video is actually going to be a little bit different. Uh, you may notice that like the environment is different, and that's because I'm actually recording up here at the uh, college at uh, UA Fort Smith. So, oh my God, I actually just said where I live. Well, guys, if you wanted to know. Now you know. <laughs> glory, glory. Woo! No, but um, yeah. So maybe a little echoey, maybe a little. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a little subdued. You know, a little. Let's get ready for the nightcap, the flood. O oh, D. This is the night duel, and we are here. <laughs> I can't believe I did that one intro. But yeah, basically, I haven't even looked at the rest of the cards in this mega pack. We ended on this Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon, and I don't even know what the rest of the cards are. So, yeah, tried not to spoil them for myself. Anyway, so that was the Secret Rare. The Ultra Rare, are you kidding me, dude? We got Masterpiece, the Draco, the Draco Slayer. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen videos as far as what Masterpiece is and what it does and how awesome it is. So, that's freaking, that's pretty cool, man, for the Ultra. Wow. And for the regular Rare, we got Spirit of the Fall Wind. So, Shining Victory is pretty good to us on that one. <laughs> but heck yeah on that Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. Anyway, to finish up the Megaton, we've got Paleozoic Eldonia, Cypher Spectrum, <laughs> Perform a Pal, Bot Eyes Lizard. Actually, a pretty good card. Shinobird Salvation. Not a bad card. Metal Foes Steel N. And we have a Psyframe Multi Threader. And yeah, because we're recording at the university, you might hear other voices in the background. Eh, don't worry about it. It's just people walking, passing through. Uh, I was Teresa and a couple of the managers that work here at the food court. Double Cypher. And Paleozoic Leon Ch Ch Leon Cho Ilia. And Ancient Gear Howitzer. So, I think we already covered these, yeah, to where Hunting Hound is, I'm pretty sure, so, that's it for that. But so, let's just get that out for the recap, the Twin Burst, and the Masterpiece, for sure, and Dark Illusion, so. Okay, and just to recap the other opening, we had some pretty good rares as well. Tin Mai Tai Tai was in the previous episode, of course, this is a promo card, Desires. Uh, Electro Pendulum, pretty good. Dimensional Barrier, also pretty good. Priestess, still played in a bunch of decks. Uh, S, promo, uh, and uh, Proxy Dragon promo. So that's, I think that's all the cards I want on the recap. But yeah, now for the last pack. Uh, let's see if we can get, I don't even know what to ask for. Um, another awesome secret. <laughs> because we're a lot of in this set, so just wish me luck, guys. Uh, but I really like this uh, uh, 2016 Mega 10. It's actually a really good buy. It seems like no matter what you pull, it'll be something playable. But Twin Burst Dragon, that's like the perfect pull for me, man, because I pulled so many of um, uh, Shiny Victories, like the booster boxes. I bought so many. Because for a while, I was just doing that two-pack week special. So Anyway, we got a couple of Performer Pals. Gone. Gato. Pretty print. Moray. Ne. Nepenthes. Nefentes. Gindo, the Aesthetic Monk. Pretty good card. And for the super, we have Paleozoic Obata. Oh, 
Pena. <laughs> Actually, a really good, uh, and of course, it happens to be a flood related card. But I'll read the effect on this one. So you overlay it with two level 2 monsters, which is really easy to do. Um, and then uh, this card is unaffected by other monsters' effects, which is nice. Now, this is really a more of a defensive card. As you can see, it doesn't have an attack stat. But the defense is pretty good, considering it's only two level 2s. You can activate a Paleozoic Trap card from your hand. That's awesome. If this card has a Trap card as an Exceed material, you can detach one Exceed material from this card and add a Paleozoic Trap from your deck to your hand. So it's a Cycler. Uh, pretty good card. But for the secret... Oh, what do we have? Ooh. <laughs> nice. Man, this Mega Pack has been so good to us, man. So we got Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. I'm sure you guys know by now that anything with ghost in the name uh, lately is actually pretty good, especially if it's a secret rare. <laughs> so, awesome card. I'll read the effects. It's a level 3 zombie tuner. Effect monster, 1800 defense. During either player's turn, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can discard this card. Reel a card in your extra deck, then look at your opponent's extra deck. Also, banish all cards in their extra deck with the same name as that revealed card. So, yeah, pretty darn good card. Uh, no matter how you use it, whether it's just the... Because, you know, there are certain decks you run where it's just like, there's one extra deck monster you don't want to see. So, ideally, what you can do is include that in your extra deck, Ghost Reaper it out, and, yeah. Yeah. And, in fact, if you recycle Ghost Reaper to your hand, you could basically run sort of an anti meta strategy where you could recycle this to your hand a couple times, and then, uh... Yeah, get out those cards that seem to just break your board, you know. Yeah, anyway. Nice. And for the Ultra, we got Stardust Cipher, Divine Dragon. Great monster for the Ultra Rare. I'll have the gloss on that as well. Uh, and then uh, Different Dimensional Savant, Thomas. Or is that Savant? I'm not sure. Anyway, we have a Symphonic Warrior, Synthesis. Synthesis, my soul. Performer pal, hand stand <laughs> I just love that name. It, it's so goofy. Look at that card. Look how goofy. That's why I love Yu Gi Oh, man. Some of these cards are just, they're just goofy on purpose, man. <laughs> and Digital Bugs, Scar Radiator. I actually loved using Digital Bugs. I, I actually loved using Digital Bugs more than I liked using uh, the Amorphic just out of Shining Victories. Odd, because normally I'm not drawn to insect decks, but anyway. Rocket Hand and Finite Cards. Actually, a really good, really, 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 really good card, um, if you think about it. And Shino Bird Crane. So that's it for the opening, pretty much. Uh, as far as the Mega Ten goes, uh, let me just do the quick recap here. I'm not probably going to have every card I want to recap, but uh, let's see. Hmm. Alright, so this is basically some of the best stuff, but I definitely want, like, Desires at the end, and Token, and then Burst at the front, and Peace, Masterpiece, because that's pretty, as well as Ghost, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, so there we go. So yeah, there's, oh, man, I just realized the angle on this is kind of, kind of wrong. Hang on, hang on a sec, guys, let me see if I can prop, prop you guys up a bit. One second, sorry. If you have motion sickness, I apologize. Uh, let's see, there we go, that looks a little better. Hey, you can even see me in the reflection of my computer. Bada bing. <laughs> Reaction shot. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Reaction shot. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Masterpiece, Twin Burst, oh, just so much good stuff here. Obafina, Proxy Dragon, pretty awesome stuff, man. Uh, all together, Priestess. Dimensional Barrier again. Electric Pendulum, great card. Uh, Magician Dark Illusion, great card. And I love this token, man. That token is, it's pimp, man. It's happening. And Pot of Desires, which, that's really the reason I bought this tin to begin with, was I was just like, you know what? This is a pretty good card, and I want it. So I'm going to buy this tin. So, but it turned out great, man. Great pulls there. Uh, with that, let's get to the Kaiba Collector Deluxe Box. Now, um, I've already done one of these, uh, pretty recently, so I'm not gonna, like, open the starter deck, you know what I mean, and, uh, read off the card list, like, for the starter deck, I'll basically just open it and show you guys, hey, everything's in there real quick, so, anyway, there's that, and, 
There we go. Do this sim. Pretty simple. Bada bing. This comes off nice and easy. I remember this opening going pretty smooth uh, for when I did it at the house. So anyway, promo blue bags. Pretty nice looking. And yeah, there's the big giant blue bags. But let's get to the pads really quick. And since we've already spent about 10 minutes worth of time, no, you know what? I'll go ahead and mix them up. I was going to say I'll just do them all together, but nah, we'll, we'll mix them up. So, we'll just start with UV first. Uh, like I said, UV seems to get worse uh, as far as hollows. But, uh, actually, last time we got both Summit Skull and XYZ Dragon Cannon, so that was a pretty good first for me. Normally, I don't get that many good uh, uh, secrets, ultras, or, yeah, out of... Yeah, if it, like I said, it seems like if you buy the Kai, the Yugi Deluxe box, like oh, you get all the good Kyber cards, and if you buy the Kyber Deluxe box, like you get all the good Yugi cards. It's weird, but anyway, Blacklist Wrist Rule. See what I mean? See what I mean? Look, that's an Ultra, guys. Sacred Barrier, Mirror Force. Oh, look at that shine right there in the sun. Got it at just the right time of day. Look at that. That is beautiful. See what I mean? Ultra from the Duelist Pack. That's a great pull in this set. Uh, magical hats, silk hats, aka magical hats. You see what I mean though? Like how, like, <laughs> how it seems like it's a lot easier to pull Yugi's good stuff out of Kaiba's deluxe box. Like, I know it seems like a paradox, but I swear, man, I swear somebody did that on purpose, like when they were packaging this. <laughs> White Dragon, Lord of Dragons, Sagi, cloning, and this is just to be a basic rare. Oh, Kaiser Glider. It's not too bad, honestly. Kaiser Glider, there we go. Yeah, but heck yeah on that Mirror Force though, man. Heck yeah. Definitely gonna put that in the recap. Look at that, man. Look at that face. Look at that name. Look at that name. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know it's good. You know it's a good track if it has Mirror Force in the name. Drowning, burning, regular. Anyway, next for a Yugi. Let's hope for another Ultra. Why not? Dark Paladin, maybe. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Uh, and we're almost to 14 minutes. Brain Patrol. Come in, come in. That's good luck. That means we'll have another Ultra this video. <laughs> Diffusion Wave Motion. Queen's Knight, so this will be a basic rare. Cardic Sanctity. Mm, probably one of the worst uh, basic rares you can pull. But if it had the anime effect, it'd be one of the best basic rares you can pull. <laughs> Think about that for a second. So. Uh, anyway. uh, Kaiba Pack next. Yeah, we're opening these up pretty quick today. We might actually finish with four minutes. Now, I think it'll take me a couple seconds to get into that starter deck, so. Legion. Magic Reflector. Uh, Exceptu Cannon. Rage Battle Ox. So this will be another basic rare. Paladin and White Dragon. Not bad, because I actually don't have any of these, and I recently just got, like, two or two of them, so that'll make a set for me out of the recent openings, which is great, actually. So I don't mind that one bit. Alright, so last pack for Duelist with Yugi. You know what? No, I was going to say let's save it for last, but let's just go ahead and open it. Like I said, we got that Karibo, that's good luck. That means we're going to pull another Ultra Rare, right? Right? You guys believe, man, right? That's what it's all about. you got to believe in the heart of the cards. I picked up this uh, deluxe box for a reason. <laughs> Big Shield Gardener, awesome card. we got Green Gadget, and do we have something? It's a basic... We, we do! Awesome! So we got a super rare uh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. Now this is actually a movie promo. Uh, I don't, was it hollow? I don't, I don't know if it was hollow or not, but um, yeah, that looks pretty awesome. So with that we got two hollows. And both out of Yugi, <laughs> like I was talking about. But yeah, he just looks pretty awesome. I'm not sure if it was hollow or not in the movie pad. But either way, this is a still, even still today, a pretty good card. So, yeah, pretty awesome. There you go. And, oh, sorry, last card, Dark Magician. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> it seems like you always get Yugi's Dark Magician out of, well, at least for me. But that's not a bad thing, like I said in the other video, because Dark Magician, the values, you can, you can almost up, up the bargain on any Dark Magician trade just because... Like, I can guarantee you, even this year, there's going to be more support for Dark Magician. It might only be, like, one or two cards, but I guarantee it. And for Blue Eyes, 
Well, we basically just had some more support in the uh, legendary collection. So, yeah, yeah, for those, like seriously, if you're trading them with your friends or whatever, feel free to ante up the price by one or two dollars. If they ask why, just be like, I guarantee you, there's going to be support for it in the future. That's enough reasoning. So, that's what I like to do. Anyway, we have Lord of Dragons, and I'll read the effect just for fun. Dragon type monsters on the field cannot be targeted by spells, traps, or card effects. That is a great card. The, now I summon the Hitatsumi Giant. Oh, maybe that's why we're having bad luck with the Kaiba uh, dual specs because I didn't have the hacking team this time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We got great luck though. I mean, two hollows, that's pretty good out of six packs. And the last card, nice. Three hollows, bro. We have returned from the different dimension. Uh, again, this was a movie pack, and I'm pretty sure that was a common in that. So this is the this is I think the first version of this card with the hollow. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. And that looks awesome. Look at that. And uh, let's see if we can spot the monsters in this picture. So we got Orca Mega Fish, Mega Fortress of Darkness, like coming out of the warp hole. We have Dimensional Warrior. Uh, wait, wait, yeah, and then we have, uh, is that a, I think that's Obese Marmot of Nefariousness, and then we have Manticore of Darkness, and of course DD Warrior Lady, so, there you go, that's uh, so the five monsters, and nice, this is actually, I really like this card, I always have, ever since uh, Kaiba did that, um, duel with Noah in the, um, virtual world, yeah, Different Dimension Dragon, pretty good card. Uh, can't be destroyed by a spell trap effects that don't target. So it's pretty interesting. Imagine comboing that with something like a card effect that says can't be destroyed by battle and can't be targeted. That'd be a pretty good car 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 combo with just this card itself and that card. So, And also it can't be destroyed by a battle with a monster that has 1900 or less attacks. So, yeah, so your opponent's going to have to summon something of 2000 or greater, which unfortunately it's pretty easy to do in today's meta, but eh, I mean, you can get this card out easily with sh something like Shining Angel or other searchers, so it's worth considering anyway. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the opening, and I'm actually pretty, that Karibo was like great luck because, look at that, man, we pulled Mirror Force, probably one of the best ultras you can pull from Duel's Pack Yugi. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's, it's definitely top three for sure. Sorcerer of Dark Magic and return from the Different Dimension Hollow. Awesome. Well, to just wrap up this opening, I'm basically just going to open this starter deck Kaiba box and just yeah, make sure we get... Uh, how many cards does this come with? 40... 50. So it comes with 50 total cards, so that's what I'm going to do for this video. Uh, it's just make sure we got 50 cards, and that will be the end of this video. Because I don't think I really need to... Uh, go over the uh, contents again, especially since I recently made a. Uh, uh, if you want more detailed like information as far as my opinions about this uh, started at Kyber Reloaded, uh, you can watch the first video. It's it's on my channel, uh, and it should just be titled like Kyber Mega Deluxe Box Opening or something like that by Flagman 14. So yeah, let's just uh, love that ultra rare blue eyes though. Look at that shining in the sun. But yeah, let's just open this real quick and make sure we have hmm, about 50 or so cards. Be a good idea. So, let's see. There we go. There's that ultra rare. Looks pretty awesome, I must say. I'm surprised it took this long for there to be an ultra rare version of Blue Eyes. Like, you would think there would be an ultimate rare. I don't know, just a promo somewhere along the line. But anyway, so that's one, two, three. Yeah, and we'll just go through these like this. I'm just basically looking at the serial numbers. There's 10 for Blood, blood Divorce. What is number 14? Ha, <laughs> Yomi Ship. Of all things, like, how ironic is that that the 14th card is, like, flood-related? It's Aquatype, it's water, it really has no place in this deck. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've never seen Kaiba, like, play a ship. It's like, I summon my Yomi Ship in defense mode. Since you destroyed the ship, Yugi, now your own ship will sink. Prepare to see your dark magician destroyed. You know, <laughs> like 
I don't think I've ever seen Kaiba say anything aqua, water, or otherwise based. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. If Kaiba ever summoned like a ultimate water dragon hydra monster, feel free to correct me. Because I, yeah, I haven't watched Arc V yet. Uh, I should though. But, uh, Dragonic Tactics, pretty good. Shard, trap, and 43. And okay, I think that's everything because we had our two copy cards, right? Two copies of Blue Eyes and two copies of Kaiser. Right? Let's see, where is Kaiser? I'm pretty sure I saw two. Yeah. Alright, well, with that, that's pretty much the opening, guys. Um, yeah, this was actually a great, uh, great opening overall. I can't believe Masterpiece was behind that Twin Burst Dragon like that. That was a great Mega Pack, man. Had Twin Burst, Masterpiece. Wow, I mean, that. <laughs> like, if you pull that out of one pack, like, even if you just order these online from Amazon, you know what I mean? And order, like, eh, maybe one Mega Pack for, you know, 10 bucks or something. I'd recommend it because that was. You might get something awesome like that. Uh, good luck to you guys. Uh, if you're. You know, but sometimes when I watch Yu-Gi-Oh opening videos, like, I'm I actually, like, organizing my cards along with it and thinking, oh, man, look at that awesome pool. Like, maybe I should, you know, purchase this product. I would definitely recommend both of these products, both the Kaiba Deluxe, you know, collector box and the, um, let me just show it off one more time to wrap up the video, the Kaiba Corp Mega 10 2016. I would definitely recommend both of them. I would also recommend the the one we just got recently, the uh, Kaiba Legendary Collection. Definitely recommend all three of them. Um, great stuff. So, and as you see, you can still pull pretty great pulls out of Duelist Pack Yugi and Kaiba. Uh, so, but with that, guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna sign out here from uh, UA Fort Smith, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys. And tomorrow's next episode. Um, yeah, good luck on your own pools. Uh, if you did like buy the legendary question, um, tell you what, uh, do me a favor and uh, leave a comment below. Be like, hey man, I just bought the new, you know, 2018 uh, legendary collection Kaiba. Man, I loved it. I pulled, I pulled everything I wanted. I pulled, you know, uh, uh, Ash, Ash Blossom. You know, let me know. Just let me know. Just uh, yeah, yeah, communicate with me, let me know, um, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, just be like, hey man, I like how you do the kind of voices, uh, and, uh, say, screw the rules, I have money, or screw the rules, I have five blue eyes white dragons now, you know, something like that, like, <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah, or, also, if you like the video, feel free to hit the notification, is that right? Yeah, yeah, the notification button. And to, of course, subscribe uh, to see more. So, yeah, I think that's everything, right? Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> bye. <laughs> hey, that's right. You can actually see my hand. It's funny. In every outro, I always wave bye, even though you can't really see. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But, yeah, that's the first wave. So, bye, guys. Have a good day. Or a good night. Morning. This is too long of an outro. Bye. Oh man, those are some great pulls though. What a day. Damn, I really want to eat some of these Skittles, man. Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, definitely my favorite snack. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm.